What's up guys? All right, so it's uh, Saturday. We're here in Beida, Sancha, and uh, we're under Jason's Market. It's kind of like the imported market. It's a little bit more high scale. Um, the last market we went to was PX Mart, and you guys seem to really like that video. Um, so I'm trying to release some more content that people like. Uh, so here we are at Jason's Market. It's a little bit more pricey, uh, but you can get kind of uh, more international foods, Italian, uh, things that are like more imported. So expect to see some higher prices here. All right, let's check it out. <clears throat> All right, so as you can see, you got a whole bunch of fruit here. There's a buy one, get one free. We've got about, so $50, $50 for, what is that? Is that fifty dollars for an ounce? So two for a hundred bucks. That's pretty. That's not bad. All right. So you see the cherries here, one hundred and seventy, three hundred. I would say three hundred is about ten bucks. So all these apples here, they were kind of expensive apples. All right. We get the really expensive apples. That's going to be like around thirty dollars for this pack. So those are pretty expensive. But as you can see here, these are more around like three or four bucks for a bundle of those. So I'm gonna try to go through some of this stuff. Um, let's do some of the meat. We got some of the meat here. Um, maybe somebody would eat like chicken breast. So this, this packet right here is, is 90 bucks, so that's like up around $3. $3 for this little pack here. Um, got these. All right, guys. All right, so. The last grocery store, Jason's, didn't work out too well. That was a premium, a premium supermarket. So you know how it goes. There's rules and restrictions against public reporting. But anyway, um, you know, we're moving on. We're gonna go to a different place today. It's a, I think it's a pretty big international chain. It's called Care4. Care4 is a pretty big market. And I'm actually in the garage. This is a massive place, so it's a. I think it's a pretty cool place. It's a little far away from my home, but I wanted to go check out something different to kind of make some cool content. Uh, I know a lot of people on the channel have been, all 38 of them, have been interested to see, you know, the cost of living here. So it's one of my most popular uploads. So I figure I wanted to make some cool content for the for the people. All right. So here we go. All right, like I said, this is kind of like a big place here. This is actually three floors, not including the, the garage. So you see the bottom floor here, it's got sushi. It's got some restaurants here. Some clothes, pretty cool. Hopefully I don't get flagged for recording in here. We got some water, water heaters, um, some taps. All right, so I think we're gonna go to the third floor first just to check out, just to check out the grocery. Or maybe we can just go one, two, three. I don't really know. All right, so like I said, this is a pretty big shopping center. They even sell scooters here. That's how big this place is. God bless. 
the typical Taiwanese toys. All right, we got some bags here. Looks like they're anywhere from 15 to $30. Some gloves, God forbid it gets really cold here. I mean, not really. It's about five bucks. Some winter clothes, three bucks, three bucks, two bucks. Get some sanitizer here just so I can be a little safe. All right, so I guess we're not gonna do the third floor yet. We're gonna just go and check out the, te the technology, maybe like just some stuff around the house. Look at that thing, LG 75 inch TV for 75,000, 75,000, not bad. So it's almost like, it's almost like what, three grand? Three grand US. And uh, I'm gonna try to put, do a little better job of not being so spastic. I'm just very ADD in general. So I'm really sorry for everyone who uh, can't follow me too well. I know a lot of people on the last video, they were kind of like, so what was the answer? Is it expensive or is it cheap? <clears throat> I think in general, in Taiwan, all the goods are pretty much, I would say the same almost the same as the US. So for example, here's a $10,000 Nintendo Switch. That's coming in at around 300 bucks. So sorry if my math is off, I'm just gonna like do it really quick. Do the math. Let's see, look at this, 100 bucks for this. You got the microwaves anywhere from 2,000 to almost 3,000. So it's like almost a hundred dollar microwave right there. Uh, like $75 microwave. Get a look at some of this technology here. Kind of like off brand, off brand Bluetooth headphones, you know, around the $30 mark, around the $15 mark. So as you can see, you know, most of this stuff is pretty much the same prices in America maybe even in your country too. These goods don't really change prices, I, I don't think. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna kind of gloss over this area and uh, let's go to some more of the more important things that you need. Let's say, okay. All right, we got like, you know, the hygiene stuff. Here's some Kotex, it's a, around $160. So, I mean, five or six bucks for a pack. $3 for this three pack of Kotex for all the ladies out there. Um, you know, we got brands like Head & Shoulders. Something like this will run you like almost $10. Almost $10, I mean, uh, yep, $10. So if you see 300, that'll be, let's just, let's just call that $10, okay? A little under ten dollars here for some lotion. I think that's pretty typical. I mean, that's some pretty nice like skin lotion. Um, yeah, as you can see, some of this stuff is in bulk. You know, bigger, bigger bottles, like a big shampoo bottle. You can still find some deals around three dollars for this big um, shampoo container. Um, a brand that I recognize from the states. Here's this one. I forget what they call this brand, but anyway, that's gonna run about four or five dollars for a bottle. Let's see what else we can find down here. We got all the bowls and stuff, some tups, Tupperware, little bottle thing here. So yeah, I mean, if you wanna buy like this kind of nice reusable bottle, that's gonna run you about 600 bucks taiwan and so we're looking at like what 20 bucks here 20 bucks okay we got the appliances i'm gonna say pretty much all of that is about the same 
Um, all right, we're moving into clothes. Moving into clothes. And all oh, these cute little toys. Thought I was being followed for a second there, so I just took a little detour. We got cute little toys here. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, I would say this market is pretty popular. It's, uh, I think, pretty normal for Taiwan. If you want to go really, really cheap, obviously you go to like the night markets. Um, the night markets where there's like local local butchers um people from the farms will come and bring bring some food and then they'll sell it on the street you can get food the cheapest that way so if you really want to go budget you can go budget here but you'll really be able to save a lot of money if you buy off the market um but obviously you know it's more sanitary buying it from a place like care for like this big brand here. Um, let's see, we got bedding on this side. All that's pretty normal. We got all the the wash stuff. I don't want to bore you guys too much. Deton laundry detergent going for almost like eight eight to ten dollars. All this is pretty normal price. Let's see. What else? All right, I think we're gonna go to the grocery part because this is this is boring me just even talking about all this stuff. This is pretty normal stuff here. All right, there we go. Getting into some of the food here. Look at these big bag of chips. These are like Taiwanese chips, Japanese chips, almonds for around ten bucks. Almonds and cashew mix, ten dollars. A little over 10. All right, let's just go into it. Some uh, bulk soap, around $10 US. And if you guys are interested in like seeing different prices from different countries like South Africa, you know, put it in rands, or if you want to put it into Canadian, I just want to know so just let me know if i can improve and um, try to make this as interesting as possible look at it look at all this stuff it's a huge place okay all right let's move on to some something really interesting like alcohol okay i didn't do this last time this is like liquor imported liquors uh, let's see. Maybe some people like Perrier. I like it. There's uh, 50 bucks, so a little bit under two dollars. There. Um, we've got some Japanese like alcoholic mixed drinks. Jim Bean, very popular whiskey from back home. So this will be like uh, a little bit under, a little bit under 20 20 dollars, 15 20 dollars. Let's see what else we got here. We've got uh, the famous grouse. This is a little bit more upscale, 1500. Um, we got Japanese whiskey for like a little bit under 15 bucks there. So I think prices are pretty much similar. Um, maybe some Japanese products will be a little bit cheaper. I think that's because of the distance to Taiwan. Um, but let's see here. Here's Glen Fittage for eight eight eight. I feel like that's a pretty good price. Uh, let's see here. We've got some soju for all the Korean Korean product lovers. One seventy one. So like, let's just say, call two hundred bucks. Well, eight dollars a bottle. 
Okay. All right, now we're moving into ramen. Let's see here. Look at rice here. Okay, 130. Okay, close to five bucks for that bag. <clears throat> We've got some packaged curries. Those range from anywhere from like one to one to four or five dollars. Let's check out some fruit over here. Let's see. Got a couple fruits that we don't really see in the U.S. too much. Juju bees. So look at that. Just a little over a dollar. Cherry tomatoes. Maybe something from home. Three or four bucks. Uh, bag of oranges. Pongan. Bag of oranges. Three dollars. Pretty good price. Let's see what else we can find here. A little bundle of bananas. So 20, like a little under a dollar for 600 grams. Let's see here. What else do we have here? Pretty interesting. Some things you don't really see in the American markets, kind of like, well, I guess you do kind of have it, but just change with different types of food. We got edamame, chicken feet, fresh shrimp, marbled beef, all these things here. So maybe it's like $2 for kg, I think. Let's move on and see here. We have these little bento boxes that are kind of set up for you to just eat on the go. I think I'm probably going to get one of these and eat it for lunch. So that's around $3. Try not to record anyone's face. All right, we'll go bundle of broccoli here for a little over over a dollar, like a dollar fifty-two dollars. We've got uh, so the thing about some of the vegetables here is they're not they obviously have like more vegetables than like I don't even think they have some of these species of vegetables in the U.S. But as you can see, there's lots of different types of salad of you know greens here. So let's just take this one. This package right here, a little over a dollar. A dollar and some cents. Some some bok choy looking stuff. Under a dollar for this, and you get that amount right there. So I think, you know, some of it can be pretty reasonable. Here's some San Marzano tomatoes. 115 so what would it be like four four to five bucks so mainly just a comparison i think is mostly everything is around the same price so here's something that's 70 cauliflower cauliflower 70 so a little bit over two dollars pack of onions maybe you can make some pasta three or four bucks actually no that's wrong sorry so 50 a bag so it's under two dollars for that bag I look like a, almost a dollar for these white onions a dollar and some change some potatoes two dollars for this bag so I guess depending on what city you're from I feel like it's pretty comparable. All right, so for the meat eaters out there, let's check out some of this. If you like to eat steak, certified Angus beef, $416. So maybe 15 bucks, 14 bucks. That's pretty expensive, honestly, though. Here's some bone-in chicken. 170 a box. Six, seven dollars. Some fresh meat over here. They have a lot of things for hot pot. So these are hot pot meats. Six, seven dollars for this. A couple slices there. Pretty delicious stuff. Okay, maybe some ground pork. Four bucks. Four dollars. Same thing, four dollars for some ground meat. 
maybe to make some pasta or something. <clears throat> Got some steak here, around ten dollars U.S. This looks a little bit more premium. This one is going to be a more premium price, like twelve dollars, eleven dollars. A lot of people's favorite chicken here be 70 for this chicken breast. So a little bit like seven, seven dollars, about seven or eight dollars. Not bad, pretty cheap. Oh no, I'm sorry. That's like three bucks. I'm so sorry. So 75, sorry. 30 to 1. Alright. So like three three fifty, something like that. Alright, and let's check out ooh, look at seafood for the pescatarians out there. Got a fish head, oh my god. So maybe a fillet fillet of salmon, two hundred dollars. So maybe eight dollars US. Something about the same, eight or nine dollars. That's almost ten dollars for this. And some tilapia. That's one of the I think a lot of people pretty clean fish pretty cheap this one's a uh, 120 so five maybe five bucks four or five bucks and we got the fresh fish here I'm trying to glance over this not not going to everything all right so as you can see um, pretty reasonable you know for a really nice clean clean market see what else we can find all right now let's see what kind of frozen things we can find one thing I like to do is eat frozen vegetables just so I can keep them longer let's see where we can find that frozen veggies not we can't always eat fresh fresh food so frozen veggies are often pretty convenient Oh man, I have no idea. Where is it? So I think most of these things are like dumplings. Dumplings. Hot pot things. They eat a lot of hot pot here. Where they fill up the soup with some delicious broth. And then they dip a whole bunch of things in it. <clears throat> so you can see here there's like avo. Avocado has always been expensive. There's some frozen avocado there for eight dollars. Some jalapeno poppers, ten bucks. They've got your croissants. Maybe some comforts from home. Some pizza. Pizza. Three dollars for that little tiny one. Let's see here. <clears throat> Some more frozen meals. Oh, look at this right here. Look at this lasagna. This guy knows what he's talking about. Three dollars, that looks excellent. Okay, let's see if we can't find <clears throat> some fresh eggs. <clears throat> okay, let's go to dairy. Oh, no, 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 I forgot. I forgot, I forgot, sorry, sorry, sorry. Here's some veggies right here, all right? I'm gonna go to the giant green. This is something we see back home. Look at this. Maybe some people will get this. It'll be three, three or four bucks. Put that in the fridge. Maybe if you like this one, same thing. Frozen fruit. It's kind of expensive, almost eight, eight, nine dollars. <throat> if you like kind of like the fried foods where you just put it in the oven put it in the microwave you can get some of this like more instant stuff here they've got korean fried chicken ten dollars chicken nuggets if you're into that three dollars let's see let's go back to the french fries if you like the french fries they've got tons of french fries here three dollars two dollars 
two dollars. <throat> okay, let's move into dairy. Dairy and the juices. All right, all right. Here's some imported hot dogs here. Let's see. These are local Taiwanese hot dogs from Kang. This is excellent. If you guys never had that before, you know, if you go for the Taiwanese option, it's definitely going to be cheaper. So these are all local sausages. Delicious. Love them. So a packet like this will be three dollars, and look how many you get there. They're a little bit smaller, but the taste is unreal. But you will be able to find some things, you know, if you really want to have that American or foreign taste. They do have jumbo hot dogs. Look at this. That packet like that. Taste is pretty similar. And you're looking at around 170 for that. So I don't know. It's, it's a pretty similar price. So maybe five, six, six, seven dollars for this packet. Yep, five, five to eight, whatever. Okay, now let's look at some milk. Look at this high quality milk. You can get milk from here, two dollars, or you can get milk that's ten dollars. I feel like that's pretty similar. Eight dollar milk right there. Um, it looks a little bit more than a liter. No, it's three, almost 3,000 milliliters. Okay, and we got some yogurt here. Yogurt packets, $2. All around $2, or you can buy in bulk and pay maybe four, four dollars. A bottle of OJ, around five bucks. A little less than five dollars. I think also vegetarian friendly, they've got soy milk. They've got, uh, let's see, kernel milk, nuts. So nuts, pretty good price. And here's some eggs, $3 for eggs, $5 for eggs. Little pack for a dollar. Okay, let's move on. Let's see what else. Try to. Uh, this is a huge store. Oh my goodness! All right, let's go to beer. Everyone's favorite part. Uh, let's see. Wow, look at this Anheuser Busch. What is this Milwaukee Busch? Oh no, Busch. So Busch, one can, thirty bucks. So that's a dollar. Budweiser, one dollar. A bigger can, almost like a dollar and a half. We've got Heineken at a dollar. Big Japanese beer, Kirin, a dollar and some change. Um, if you go local Taiwanese beer, it's under a dollar. Okay, 26, under a dollar. 90 some cents. We've got all the teas here. All right, let's keep going. Man, a lot of stuff. Okay. And if, you know, if I miss something and you, you're like, hey, I want to check that out. Um, you know, what's the price on that? I'll be glad to make another video and try to focus on some of the things that you want to see. Let's see here. Tea, liquor bottles. Here's some alcohol, more alcohol. This one's really strong. This is called Gaoliang. And that is really strong. $500, so that's like... 20 bucks, or, or I'm sorry, like, yeah, 20 bucks. Got some red wine here. Gotta love the wine. All right, so I see maybe some that are 300 bucks, anywhere from 10 all the way up to 900, so 10 to $30. Pretty reasonable. Actually, a lot cheaper than I thought it was gonna be. I don't really see any big baller bottles let's see six pack you can buy in bulk three big tall boys maybe even some um craft beers here duval San, i don't know san miguel is probably not a craft some other ones here like a deep pale ale so they've got the ipas the chime chime is almost like eight nine dollars We've got the IPAs here, three, $3 a can. 
So I feel like that's pretty similar to North Carolina. These prices aren't going to change too much. A little bit over $10 for this absolute vodka. Let's keep going. All right, let's see. Pasta sauce. Spaghetti. $2. $3. Ching, ching, ching. Some pasta sauce. Three or four bucks. Uh, if you go to like the Italian ones, the American sauces, obviously it's going to cost more. Five, anywhere from five to uh, five to eight dollars, maybe even ten dollars. One bottle of sriracha, two hundred dollars. Man, that's a little expensive, I feel. Two hundred dollars. Jeez. Like seven seven dollars for that, but sriracha is awesome. So okay, let's see what else we got here. Let's look at a bottle of Coca Cola. All right, so we got a six pack of cola Coca Cola here. That's like two or three dollars. We got the liter, the 2,000 mil for a dollar here. One dollar. <clears throat> okay, I think we pretty much covered everything as fast as possible. That took like so long. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. It's lunchtime for me. I'm gonna go downstairs and get some lunch. And uh, I hope you all appreciated the video. Um, let me know if you're interested in seeing something else. I was thinking about going to get some gas in the car and just seeing how much that experience costs, you know, going to get different meals. You guys let me know, man. I appreciate you guys. Thanks.